Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on um the Minecraft Hypixel Skybox server. Um if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube videos, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm, movement with the free channel. If you uh subscribe to my channel, send you notifications when I have new videos out, you guys can come check it out. See if you like it. In order to get you done th those notifications, go to my page, click the notification bell, set your settings inside the notification bell. And uh, if you want to share this video with your friends, there's a share tab down below. Click the share tab. There's a link there for you to copy and post wherever you want. And there's also links there to social media sites. You can just click on those. And uh, with that, we're going to get started today. Uh, we want to upgrade our dudes here. So I want to make sure that none of these guys have enough stuff in here. And uh, we want to go ahead and take that up. So get all these. Now, as you can see, these have three slots in it. We're going to upgrade this. There we go. That should have been seven. You guys need upgrades too, right? Eight. And nine. There we go. And uh, uh, yesterday I ground, or uh, between episodes I ground the... Uh, Recipe for medium storage crates. Where was that at? Oh, I'm almost at large storage crates. It's pretty good. A medium storage crates recipe is this. We're going to do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and now if we place this down here. Just We'll put that here. Um, there's nine slots instead of three. It's, a, it's it's well worth the upgrade. Well worth the upgrade. Put you back. What do you say? You're saying something. I'm guessing they're full. Is the thing? Yeah, my storage is full. So we can do you guys first. There we go. And then we'll put you guys back also. And with these minions here, that means they'll have eight stacks of lapis and lapis blocks in here, and then one stack of uh, lapis. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start upgrading these guys to uh, tier five, because um, this should be the last enchanting that I have to do. All right, we'll see. We're going to go for an armor set today. So hopefully we get that. Um, in order for us to get that armor set, we are going to need to uh, get better armor than this. <laughs> this will do you. You can go down there and do these if you're careful with this. But we want to make the cactus set. Uh, I was torn between the cactus set and the uh, pumpkin set. Now the pumpkin set here is a little bit worse if we look here this is 25 for the helmet defense and five health this is eight and eight so but uh the pumpkin set lets you have uh yeah this it's a, it's a little a little worse but it lets you have reduced damage and increased damage so i started to do that but but just the overall defense that you can get from these is is well worth doing the cactus set. So let me show you the recipe here because I went ahead and crafted those. It is just cactus. <coughs> All right. Each one of the sets here, you need 24. You can craft these. And then I already put protection on this one. And this one's got protection and also um, this one growth which is going to give us more health so so we're going to put growth on all the other three of these so let's go do that there we go next is going to be the boots and it requires 50 all right 50 levels to put these on here and i don't feel like grinding those out there's that. Come on. Come on. And then we're going to get three more going. 
There we go. I did do growth, right? Yes, okay. Now, there are some other things we can do. We can do uh, aqua affinity on this, respiration. We don't We don't really need that stuff. Uh, protection is the best one of these to put on there. I'm definitely going to make a suit of armor with fire protection before we uh, go to um, the combat area for the... Uh, um, What's it called? It's like the nether, but it's not really a nether. It's like a little island that they've set up like the nether. And uh, having a suit of fire protection on is going to be better off there for when we go farm blazes. It's it's. I'm just going to be putting that on there just so we can have a little defense against blazes. Uh, we should have a bow by then, so I'm not worried about that. So uh, this will just do us for now. I don't need no extra enchantments on there. Uh, thorns. Reflects damage back, and uh, sometimes it, it'll mess up the uh, first strike. So, most people don't use uh, thorns on their armors. Um, this armor doesn't need to be maxed out, so just this right here will be fine. And we'll probably, as we're 11, I, I did get my enchanting here up to level 11. So, yeah. And uh, as you can see, we unlock more recipe enchantments as we go. And uh, we're going to want these. So to continue to get those, it's going to be great. I am not going to be doing the experiment. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the experimentation table. So we'll see about that. I think I'm just going to farm it up regular. Um, the experimentation has little mini games you can do in it that gives you extra XP for your enchanting. Uh, doing enchanting on your enchanting table is capped at a certain amount of XP. So after you've after you've hit that cap, you can't gain no more on there. So right now, our defense is 86, and our health is 153. All right, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna put this on here, and now our defense is 136, and our health is 488. It's a lot better, a lot better, and uh, we're just going to uh, throw this armor in here. And uh, we are done with uh, you, so you can go in here, and we're done with you. you put you in there. And uh, I'm going to keep my enchanting bottles on me. You can sell these, actually. I'll show you how much the price are. Uh, I went ahead and did, I've been doing the farming uh, fest uh, contest off camera, and I got enough uh, tickets to get one of the hoes. So I went ahead and got this one. This will help us out with the mining. I'm going to set up a uh, carrot marine area. I did get bronze for carrots. So I got the turbo carrot on here too. It gives us a little extra uh, farming uh, fortune when we're breaking carrots. And it will till a 3x3 three three area. So if we are going to be making like um, these guys here, we might want to... Uh, Oh, are you done? No, you still won't do these, will you? I'm tempted to make... No, because it won't count. I need these to fully... What I want to do is do one row using my hoe, and one row using the axe, and then compare the results to see if the, uh, the harvest is actually working when we break these with the hoe. Yeah. Um, these are going to get their own island, so we're going to have one with... Uh, melons on it and I'm gonna have one with pumpkins on it um, I'm gonna extend this out and when I'm when I move these down to their own island this right here is also going to be um, rows of uh, jungle wood with uh, this setup here and uh, basically I go down come back up actually I start down there I come up go back down and then I jump on top here and I replant this side and this side uh, pretty soon we'll have the uh, replenish enchantment on our hoe, and we won't have to actually replant those. We can just go by and break them, and they'll redo themselves. I might have to change my setup then, though, because I might have to make them three wide instead of just the two wide. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, guys, 
Um, oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. I should I should take care of that before we go. We can get a little bit extra cash. Mm. Um, once we unlock the pet that we're trying to unlock on our jungle wood, um, both those jungle trees are probably coming up, and uh, we're going to probably place two diamond minions down for uh, some cash. Yeah, for some quick cash. <laughs> and I'm probably going to put some minion expanders on those. Uh, it, it's it's great to have the uh, condenser on them but if you put the minion expanders on it it makes the area that they produce uh, ores in a lot bigger and uh, you can go and uh, use that for XP also uh, when you need just a little bit extra so what right now two of those bottles makes me like level 43 44 and then I could run up here and take out all of the diamonds there. And then also the diamond enchanted diamond sell for like a crap ton. And and we'll also be pushing for the uh, diamond armor anyway, so it'll be cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, convert this stuff. There we go. I think I got a little bit more over here. I do. So that's seven. I'm going to throw this in here. I'm probably going to sell that seven to see how much we get off of it. So I've got 19 in there, so don't worry about that. Uh, we did unlock a recipe, though. Enchanted bookshelf. Oh, wow. Place near an enchanting table to provide bookshelf power. The higher the bookshelf power, the more enchantments are available. So using these instead of the other ones will be better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we might have to invest in that. Yeah, instead of the other ones. Oh yeah. That'll be easy to do. We might have to replace our bookshelves with enchanted bookshelves. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, Because I think it's one each now. I don't know. So, let's go to... The auction house or the bazaar. Um, the annoying thing about here is, in order to get anywhere substantial with these stupid goons, you have to wear this mask and you have to buy the the thing. Yeah, enchanted sugar, two thousand. I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and sell it. And. Uh, up to 28,000. <laughs> oh, we're going to need to get some of that back, aren't we? Shoot. Yeah, let's withdraw half. Oh, we want to grab some uh, talismans over here from the adventure. Uh, we want the zombie, the skeleton, And what is the other, what's the other one? Scavenger. And I think that's about it for right now. That would be also great, but uh, we'll work with those. And uh, I'm going to reforge these later, but for right now I just want the regular bonuses from them. So, we can put the rest of our money back. There we go. So we're looking for the lapis armor. Um, lapis armor gives you a mi uh, 
mining bonus when you're mining. So we want to have that. Also, we can do this, right? Um, don't we have a... Uh, maybe we haven't unlocked it yet. Hmm. I'll figure it out. There's like a, a place where you can put armor in and you can switch them out. But I think you need a specific uh, thing for it. Uh, a minion, a collection unlock, I think. Oh, shoot. That, I can do it later. Uh, before the end of the episode, we're going to go give the carpenter his wool. <laughs> I've just got it setting in my uh, ender chest. Now, I did go ahead and max out my undead sword, so we have critical XP. Three, uh, this is maxed out for the enchantments that I have unlocked right now. XP3, we could have reforged these guys too, but it's fine. Um, Lifesteal, Looting, Luck, Scavenger, Three, Smite, and Telekinesis. And what Luck does is Luck will make it to where enemies have a better chance to drop in their armor. And since we're specifically in this episode going for... Um, going for the lapis armor. Um, it'll be good. So let's get down here to where the zombies are, and I'll I'll show you where I like to farm. I, I'm gonna need to come up here with like a bow or something and come up here and take care of this uh, zombie. I mean, uh, creeper minion that we're gonna need. Um, so uh, we want to make our way over. I do not have access to first strike yet, so. Zombie minion is unlocked. So I like to make my way, I'm, I always go around this way just to clear out zombies. Uh, we're going to go down here and take these guys out also. Yeah. So down through here, everybody always farms down through here in this area. Uh, what I like to do is I like to come up here. And I like to do a special loop through here. So I'll show you guys here. And it starts back here. So we come up here. If you haven't done the uh, Lapis Miner, do go ahead and grab him. Yeah, we're going to have competition down here. Then I come this way. Then we make our way back over here. If there's any zombies up on them stairs, I'll take those guys out too. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that this dude's over here doing the same thing. Although he's not doing the full loop, so that's a thing. God. You can go back out and then come back in. You're, just, you're not far enough down to where it really matters. Yeah. Lucky with our sword, we can actually one-shot these guys most of the time. And it's mostly just a waiting game. And if you see pe things like this, go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> There's no point not. Uh, we can... Um, I don't know which minion it would be best, so. Silverfish might be better. Yeah. The silverfish might be better. A little bit of extra armor and defense. 
I think he's just over here mining Lapis and then killing these guys when they pop up. And as you kill these guys, you'll get better magic find against these guys. So it'll help you out just a little bit more finding the, the armors. So the more you kill, the more chance you'll get of uh, getting the uh, Lapis set. Now you can't just straight up buy this off of the the AH. Um, that is an option. Uh, I kind of want this Let's Play to be more friendly if you're playing along with me. More friendly for uh, the Iron Man mode. So, people that do that. If I buy something off the bazaar, off the exchange, just just, just let you guys know. That's something you guys will have to farm up in order to do the same thing I'm doing. So... That was 10 lapis I picked up. There we go. Now that that guy's not back here doing that, uh, the run he was doing, these guys are spawning much faster. Yeah. So. And uh, as a side effect of doing this, we are going to be making our zombie minion also today. Uh, we probably won't get to max him out. Oh, I thought my pet was a zombie. Yeah. So I won't always be showing this, but I didn't want this is the most important first set to get on the server. So uh, I didn't want to show that. Most videos, I'll probably like get like three out of four of the set, and then when I'll farm like the other one up in front of you guys. Zombie pickaxe. That one's actually pretty cool. I do like my three uh, Lapis minions. I'm glad I did that. I might, uh, I definitely got to get them up to like level five. Uh, I've just been saving my stuff for enchantments. But now that they got the bigger storage, it's going to be a lot easier to go ahead and max them to five. It'll make them just a little bit faster. Now I'm not going to make the zombie minion in here because we ain't going to get enough zombie flesh, hopefully. And I don't know if I'm going to actually get the full set right now. Uh, let's say we do this for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Dang it. The problem is people come up here to do the lapis guy <laughs> and then they kill all the zombies so yeah I seen you Um, on my other account, when I was over here farming the Lapis Armor, like, like they spawned a lot quicker. Like, I was having three or four in, in every area. Kind of like this. This is what I like. Yeah. Except I'm not having much luck. <laughs> Also, every so often, I'm going to have to go back and uh, dump my lapis. I'm into my coins off because, uh, as you can see, every time we kill one of these guys, we get like five coins. So, you can also come here to farm uh, coins from your scavenger enchantment. Ooh, we got lots right here. Oh no, not a reboot! 
that's going to take us out of the game or not. Or if it's just going to teleport us to our island. We'll see. Where's my printer printing? Random printing is random. I would like to get at least one piece on camera. Well, they didn't do that much damage. Oh, I'm glad I went with this armor and the enchantments. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> we have to make our way all the way back over there. So, so you guys understand, the uh, zombie here. It's just 10. We can actually do that now. There we go. There we go. Zombie minion. And I have in my ender chest my my foraging guys. Um, I'm still working on upgrading these. I got oak to five. I'm working on the rest of them. So let's make our way back. I can't wait to unlock the teleport scroll, so I can just teleport over here. Now, one thing you do want to work on while you're over here is you do need combat uh, 12 or 13 to get into the end, I believe. So, uh, um, don't be scared to come over here and farm mobs for uh, like stuff. There's no point for you rushing because you can't go to like the end or any place like that where all the good armor sets and stuff are. Um, it's locked behind skill. Uh, hello? There we go. Now we gotta go back down. I think this time we'll take the uh, elevator. Um, I am going to do an episode where we farm the uh, slime minion, and I'm probably going to try and uh, like get that to level five. Yeah, that dude's coming through here to mine, Dang it. to mine lapis. Which is sad times. I like it when I have this area by myself. Spawn behind me. For the loop purposes, I should have just let that one go. Because it might have spawned a couple more. Are we getting up there in combat? But now that I've showed this on camera, I'm not as scared to come over here and farm these guys off camera. Yeah. So... I think I had lag. What random? No, he's got that. 
It's not set up pretty good, though. Get out of here. <laughs> I love this armor set. There's a little way up here. Sometimes they spawn down here. Oop, very soul. I am going to do fairy souls, but uh, I don't like to just run around and get them. I shouldn't have went that far. Yeah. Stick to my loop. I'm getting horrible luck with the actual armor sets, though. There's also a good area to uh, farm um, skeletons, too, if you can find it without people in there. There we go. Lapis drop. The leggings. Let's, let's come over in this corner here. So, lapis armor is 20 uh, defense as opposed to 25 for the cactus here. But the reason why you want this is each piece of armor grants 50% bonus XP when mining. And there's a it gives you a full set bonus of plus 60 health. So that combined... Oop. That combined with the growth that you get gives you an extra 60 health. So you can get a little bit more health on this. I do believe the cactus is better defense-wise. They're just chaining to me, aren't they? So, but we want a full set, and we're going to sell any of the other ones off. Um, if you're on Iron Man mode, you can sell these off to a vendor also. Yeah. So, that's one. Uh, let me... I don't want to get in trouble here. Let me... Uh, no, we're pretty good. We can go for a little bit longer. I do want to uh, clear my inventory out, though. And if an armor piece pops up, I want I want to see it. There we go. And uh, farming these guys for uh, um. Like farming these guys, enchanting the armor, and then selling that on AH, you can make a bank. Yeah. You can make bank on the uh, server just by doing that. I wouldn't put too many on there. I'd just do like one of each piece, probably. Just put protection 5 and uh, growth on there. I'm, I'm probably, honestly going to look up how much this uh, cactus armor sells for. I might sell some of that on the edge. Just put protection and uh, growth on it. Yeah. It's so, it's so irritating farming up cactus. Most people don't worry about the cactus armor as an armor type. Hello. I heard you. Yeah. But uh, as soon as we get first strike on this thing, uh, it's going to, like, I have to look up when I can actually get first strike, enchanting wise. Ah, 
Nice try. We're going to be able to one-shot these guys, no problem. As long as we hit them first. Yeah. So basically now, instead of mining, uh, I can come down here and farm these guys for XP for enchanting. And once I get, I don't know, like uh, probably 50 levels or so, put an enchantment on a piece of armor. Because growth, uh, growth is 50 XP levels to put on armor. So farm 50 levels, go back home. Make a piece of uh, cactus armor. Put growth on it. And then I can put protection on it. Just with a, one of my uh, enchanting bottles. And put that on the AH. Hello guys. Got the helmet. Move that out of my inventory. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. I mean, I would like it to be faster. <laughs> it would be nice to get the whole set on this episode. Come on. I can also farm up some of my skills too, so I can get a couple more plus one strengths. It's another thing we can do. Ooh. This is a runic zombie. Yeah, this gives you access to rune crafting. Mm. Did we get to win? What would we get? Apply the rune to boots or fuse two together for on a runic pedal. I what that does. Sparkling rune. Your boots are sparkling. I'm guessing that's what it does. It makes them sparkle. Cosmetic thing. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I'll come up here for you. Also, if you're playing Iron Man co-op, uh, make sure you uh, take all your extra armor sets to your uh, island. Lapis crystal, yes. Oh, lapis cripples are used on armor. We could get a little bit more defense by putting this on there. Oh, that's on the pick. Magmatic pick. I'm thinking of the other one. Um, that's another pick type you can make. Uh, the one I've got it set up for is fruitful. It gives a bonus minus, minus uh, mining fortune. But uh, magnetic gives you ex extra uh, mining experience. So Me personally, I'd rather have the increased fortune, but you can make another pick, another diamond pick with uh, mining XP on it. Just use that for uh, leveling when you're farming XP. Nice. Keep it nice and topped off. Being left alone by all the people that are out there farming... Uh, Lapis armor, trying to compete with everybody else out in the open. 
As soon as I release this video, though, everybody's gonna be coming over here. Another runic zombie. Come get some, dog. There we go. Oh! There's the armor. So we're just missing the chest piece. It would be nice to get this in this video. Luckily for me, I've got two computers here at the house. One's mine and one's my wife's. So I can upload on this one. And I can switch to my other computer, come on here and grind while my uh, videos are uploading. Man. Get out of here. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good if uh, <laughs> I got all, th all four pieces right in a row without getting doubles? That's, I've never done that before. Also, uh, we we are farming uh, a diamond. Also, uh, I could make some diamond picks and enchant those and put those on the AH. Put put the magnetic uh, gem on there. I believe you can do that and still sell it. We'll see. There's somebody else coming down. Hello. This is my zone, yo. I gotta get my uh, silverfish minion up. I might do some hardcore diamond uh, mining between now and the next episode and put my uh, silverfish in for upgrade to uh, the next level. I need him to get legendary. I think it's my, I'm pretty sure it's my silverfish that I need uh, legendary. Come on. I, I enjoy watching people do the videos for uh, uh, Hypixel Skyblock. But my problem with that is they'll 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 start their video on their island, and hopefully you guys understand what, where I'm coming about, about for this. They'll start on their island, and they'll do what we're, this is what we're gonna do today, and then they do like a. Sometimes they don't even show it, but they'll do like a little uh, time lapse of them running around doing whatever they said they was gonna do. And that's pretty much it. Then they stop the episode, and then they do the crafting part of the thing, and it's like a six seven minute video. <laughs> It's like this this one video, and I don't remember who made it, so I can't I can't uh, um, tell you that part. But oh, another leggings! Oh man, I was hoping that was the chest piece. Um, let's uh find a spot here, move this out. Um, he was doing a a guide on uh, the dwarven mines. <laughs> Which I haven't been to yet, ever, on any of my stuff. But, uh... <laughs> he starts out in the mines, and he never, ever shows you how to get to the Dwarven Mines. Ever. Like, just like two minutes at the beginning of the video. Hey, this not even two minutes, like 30 seconds. This is, how you, this, this is the entrance to the Dwarven Mines. This is how you get here. Uh, for like new players, like the guides are supposed to be for like new players for this server. They're not going to know how to get there. You know? It's like stuff like that irritates me when people make videos. I guess they're just not like... I'm actually making pretty good bank just killing the zombies here. That uh, talisman also is helping out. The uh, scavenger talisman. Go up here and kill this guy too. I'm gonna leave that other guy loop back around. Uh, 
just a little bit more strength. And I could one-shot these guys without actually having uh, first strike on here. So uh, I am going to need to uh, enchant this armor too. So I'm going to put protection and growth on the uh, lapis armor. The set I'm going to keep. I might go ahead and put protection and growth on the ones I put on the AH. Um, just because uh, I want to max out my XP every every uh, every day, and I'm not sure I'm actually doing that. So. Putting those enchantments on there will give me uh, enchanting XP also, and then selling those on the a on the AH. I just want to make sure I'm making enough off of them to cover the cost. So I'll have to look up to see how many. Uh, I'm I'm thinking probably four enchanting bottles is what um, it'll cost me to enchant a piece of armor. So I'll look up the cost of enchanting bottles. I was going to show you that on camera anyway. Cause I can start selling them for money with the amount that I get. I think they're around two, two K. Rune crafting two. Oh, that was a runic zombie. What is this one? Rainbow. Walk on rainbows. I hurt you. So I think we're going to have to go pretty soon. Which is sad face. I really wanted to get the whole set on camera. But uh, we got 50 levels here. I might not even use um, my uh, enchanting bottles because now I've got this gear. I can farm uh, these. I need combat anyway, so I can farm these zombies. This little loop. Nobody comes over here. After I release this video, people start coming over here. <laughs> Those who watch it, yeah. Another lapis crystal. Man. Not really taking any damage. Oh, look at you, whole family of zombies. Don't shoot at me. How dare you? I might actually, actually, t just to uh, get the chess piece, I might enchant mine first. Also, I need to find out how you unlock the... Uh... The uh, armor set menu. Yeah, so uh, go ahead and farm the chest piece while I'm farming the chest piece. Every time I get enough for the enchantment, go ahead and pop uh, growth on the, there. And then I'll do, uh, it might be good to do 60 levels. Although that, that's a waste of XP. You drop down. Okay. So uh, we'll go around and get you on the, on the flip side. I do need a main weapon. I think I know which weapon I'm probably going to go for. I'm probably going to go for the Golem Sword, which means I need to do some... Uh, I'm not farming... <laughs> I'm not farming uh, iron, so... Uh, 
Lapis armor boots, dang it. <laughs> Also, uh, if you're a people person, uh, in the chat here, everybody's here. So, uh, if you have, uh, armor set, you can ask somebody on the server, like, like, I've got boots, uh, I'll trade boots for a chest piece. And there might be somebody in here that's, uh, grinding that has three or four chest piece, chest pieces of the lapis armor. Um, I've seen people do that. Yeah. But the only reason we want... And I'm going to compare the Lapis Armor to the actual uh, Cactus Armor when I get both of them enchanted. And I'll do that on the next video. Because I will have the lap, full Lapis set by the next video. I think there's an actual uh, farming contest right now, too. I think it started on the 29th. Off camera, I'm going to work on my cat, on my, uh, Carrot farm, and the reason why I want a carrot farm is one for the uh, because I got that enchantment and the hoe. Get out of here, sneak it up on me. How dare you? Um, and the other reason is uh, you can, pet food. <laughs> There's candy you can feed to your pets to give them extra bonus XP, just grant some XP. So uh, I thought that might be useful, especially since we're concentrating on pets this run through. Um, yeah. As far as I know, you can't sell these on the auction house. The uh, the stones. If the default, if the default uh, lapis armor is not better than my uh, cactus armor I'm running with right now, I might. Uh, are you trying to kill me? Go ahead. More leggings. Come here, buddy. Another lapis crystal. Um, I might put some of these lapis crystals on the, my current armor, because th that means I'm gonna be using this for a while. Yeah, just switch to my uh, lapis armor. I might go ahead and put some on the lapis armor too, because I'll be wearing that while I'm coming here. When I come to here to mine uh, diamonds for selling. Like, I'm really not taking damage. Not really. I think I need to go. Sad times. Come on, give me a chest piece. I'm going to do one more loop, and then uh, we'll head home. Yeah. Sad face. Look at this. <laughs> I think the chess piece is one of the first ones I got on my other account.
All right. Let's head out. I'll get the chest piece uh, before the next episode, and I'll show you guys the difference with 22 armors fully uh, spec'd out. And I'll probably have crystals on all of them if I can get enough crystals for that. So let's head our way back. I'll kill zombies on the way. Maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah. Should be safe here to teleport. Go back to the private island. <clears throat> um, the zombie, so the zombie pick. Let's look at that. I did I did tell you guys I was going to show you guys that. So this is the zombie pick. <laughs> It, 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 it has increased mining speed on it. It has breaking power of 3, which is something that you need to worry about when it comes to uh, the Dwarven Mines. And uh, that's a heck of a mining speed there. It also grants you uh, haste 2 for 5 seconds when you break into ores. So, it's pretty cool. Zombie Heart. That's a rare helmet. And I believe there's zombie armor. There's the zombie sword. Instant heal. This is a pretty good sword, though. We could go for that. It heals 120 plus 5 percent, and heals players within seven blocks of 40. So uh, we could go for that. It's not a bad sword, too. We'll see. We'll see what we got. Oh, the armor also. The zombie armor. Most people don't like the armor. Um, there we go. So projectile absorption heals the wear 10 hit points per second for 5 seconds when hit by a projectile. Yeah. So when, if you're going to uh, farm the skeletons or something that shoots projectiles like blazes or something like that, having a full set of this on. I believe... When is the combat sack? Oh, well, the small one's here. We might, we might get that before the next episode, too. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to sort through this stuff here. Uh, see if I want any of these runes on my stuff. Uh, probably craft another upgrade on the the uh, zombie minion. If you guys like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel. If you guys subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this video and you want to share it with your friends, tell me what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel. Use the notification bell. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode.